Hello everybody, it's Kim Wilson and I have another bundle focus today. So today's bundle I'm looking at is labeled with love and you can get this bundle either as a punch bundle or a die bundle, but only the die bundle is on sale at my website shop um, during the month of June. So I want to show you a few things I did with this fun set. It's a photopolymer set, so it's um, got a couple of two stamp two-step stamping stamps. So there's the flowers and the leaves that you can do in different colors like I did with this um, simple stamping card. Just a real easy card. You can make a whole bunch of those. Um, thank you cards or birthday cards or whatever you need with the note cards and envelopes. And then uh, the other two-step stamp is the um, birthday present. And then there's a kind of a uh, confetti kind of stamp that you can do on top of that and I did that here on this birthday tag and then the third two-step stamp is the butterfly which is really really easy to use I did a couple of butterflies here and I did the outside in basic black and then the inside I did in the new peach pie color if you don't have peach pie you could use pumpkin pie too to get that monarch look and you might recognize a new background stamp here that I used, and I just cut it into little slivers, about one inch, um, to put the background on that. And then I used the, the tag here and just added the butterfly. Um, these little tags were just made out of scraps at the last minute here. I'm not even quite finished here, but I wanted to show off some of the embossing new embossing folders that I hadn't tried yet. So I made some tags with that labeled with love bundle and then I added some sentiments there's a lot of nice sentiments in here um, the two from is really great for tags as well and then I just punched a hole and added some ribbon and I used again the um, natural what is this striped oh polka dot polka dot trim natural polka dot trim ribbon that I used on this magnolia card from last week. You can see here I just used a strip of it just as to add some texture to the card. It's not, um, this isn't a ribbon that you're going to be able to tie in bows or anything on a card, but it make, it's really, really stiff and makes a really nice um, textural background on on a card or a scrapbook page but then if you wanted it for a gift wrap or anything like that it's nice and sturdy for that and here in this case um, instead of trying to tie the ribbon in um, I just cut a piece uh, slipped it through and then took some of the natural um, baker's twine and this one I tied a knot this one I tied a bow so either way it looks really cute and that's a good way to to close that off so you've got a nice uh, nice firm um, bow there to um, put on your gifts or whatever you want to add those tags for. A really cute way to use up some scraps. And then oh, one last card here. Um, this one I just um, used the outline of the, the um, that, that punch or die, whichever you get. The die right now is on sale. And then I fussy cut some of the um, presents from the stamps and just added those onto the um, embossed background. So really, really simple and of course stamped in the middle there. So I wanted to show you three of the embossing folders that I've been using lately. This um, metal plate one is one we've had for a little while and I used that on this fun fold card with the um, Adventurous Sky Bundle and um, isn't that cool? It really adds to the airplane look, so that, that metallic look uh, with our silver foil. If you wanted to darken the foil, I would use um, Stazon ink and just rub it lightly over top. Um, if you use a regular um, dye-based ink, it'll just come right off, but the Stazon ink should stay if you want a more distressed look on your metal there. And then um, there's the back of my card. And I do have the instructions to this one written up in a PDF, so I'm going to be giving that out to anybody that orders from me this month. So to go along with your fun bundles in the bundle sale this month. So that was Metal Plate. And then Dashing Designs is the one I used on this card. And just some fun patterns to that one. And then the Eyelet one I used on these two tags here. So um, 
these 3D embossing folders are just so beautiful. They get just add so much dimension to your projects. So um, that's always one of the first things I grab um, when I order from the new catalog is all the new folders because I just love those. Besides the papers, you know I love the papers. Okay, so there's my website name. Oh, just a tip when you're um, stamping with this um, stamp set, I had a little trouble because these are photopolymer stamps. Sometimes it's hard to get good um, images on the, the ones that are kind of solid, like that birthday gift in the butterfly background. So you can kind of rough them up on your cleanup pad or um, take an eraser, try to get the coating that comes on those off so they'll stamp better. And also I found that my ink pads were a little too, too inky, so I grabbed a block and just kind of scooched the ink to the side a little bit so that my ink pads weren't so inky. And the other thing I did was I grabbed my um, pierce mat and used that as a background. And that, that was really the best thing to use um, to get the, see how nicely this one stamped. And I, I tried a whole bunch and was having trouble, but once I put the pierce mat underneath, then, um, then it stamped really nicely. So just some tips for you as you're crafting. It's cold today, so you might want to Stay inside and do some crafting, and um, hope you have a great week. Happy crafting!